Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Guess what? You guys request another cleaning vlog and I am going to come to you with one. So I'm going to show you around. The boys and the husband just left. Frankie is still sleeping, so I figured I'd get a chance to film this vlog. I am showing you my fireplace of all my Dollar Tree little fairy garden. This is how I have it set up. I realized I haven't showed you guys yet, um, but sometimes the kids come over here and play with this stuff. So this is what it is looking like so far. I am almost finished with this candle. Oh, it's hot. I probably need to turn that off. But, um, yeah, so let me show you around. I did wash these blankets, and this chair normally goes outside. We've just had company in and out. Since it's supposed to snow or sleet or whatever, Texas weather, I'm probably going to leave this in there. But these blankets usually go there. I do need to wipe that down. As you can see, there's crud and stuff here. Toys in a blanket that I need to fold. This floor is filthy. I have not swept and mopped in like four days. And I need to put on shoes or something because crumbs are getting all under my feet. I mean, look at all those crumbs. Look at there. Uh, Frankie's toy area is pretty much clean. My husband, something's going on with his PlayStation, so... He put it right there. I'm not going to even mess with my husband's stuff. He gets mad when I touch his stuff. And um, let me bring in here. So this bag is going to be donation. Um, this is what we've started. So every time I clean stuff like that, I do like to donate. I'm going to donate this whole bag, but I want to fill it up first. Here is some waters that I could probably fit in the fridge. Here is shoes that are out of this little, um, whatever you call it. I made it a shoe container. Here is my messy kitchen table. As you can see, I need to clean it. I need to put on the tablecloth. This is just from breakfast. So, And here is what my mother-in-law gave me. Now, you will see stuff like this because we have a leak underneath our sink. And... It's, we put a, a notice in like three weeks ago. They still have not come to fix it. So I have everything out that's normally under my sink. So that's why you see some of this stuff. So disregard. Here is my electric sweeper. Up here could use a wipe down. Me and Frankie have been doing arts and er, play, you know, with sand and stuff. So that's what that is. The kids wanted to do Rice Krispie Treats for me to make them. So they set them out. I don't know if I will get to it. Again, the floor everywhere. I started this morning as I was getting the kids up. I unloaded the dishwasher, so that is the rest of the dishes that I need to put away. Here is the kids' trash can, and that's what's in my hand, is a bag that I'm going to add to it. But as you can see, there's crumbs in there that I do need to clean because they used it without putting a bag. This is last night's dinner as well as breakfast, so I do need to wash these dishes. Last night I made pesto pasta and chicken. So that's what you see left there. And obviously I need to do a wipe down. I have nothing in my wax warmer there. I do have a wax warmer in the kitchen. I am planning on making some brownies today. Also there is some nasty crud in the refrigerator. Looks like Kool-Aid. Oh, these crumbs are driving me nuts. It looks like Kool-Aid spilled, so I will be doing that. I am not going to be doing the kids' room, and I'm not going to show you too much, but um, just because we have stalkers around. But here's the children's room. As you can see, there's some dirty clothes. I do plan on doing some laundry, so I will be coming in the room and just picking whatever I can see on the floor up just to throw it in a load. But as you can see, I've got some messy, messy boys. That bed folds out. These backpacks are extra 
backpacks because I just got Jaden a back a new backpack so need to figure out about those so as you can see somebody stuffed something under there I will not be my husband hates when I come in and clean their room but I also hate their room being messy um, as you can see here dirty table you know I cannot stand that stuff a dirty q-tip so um, yeah I'll just come in here and just get stuff to wash and their bathroom look at their rug I don't know why they just don't fix the rug the bathroom's kind of messy but I should leave that for them right so anyways you guys I'm gonna get started on that laundry and cleaning I uh, will stop back and talk with you guys in between This is where I'm at so far, so I did do hand wash those dishes. I'd rather sometimes just hand wash. And I got some, the pans that I used last night soaking. I still need to wipe down the counters and start on those brownies. I do have a load going. I picked up the boys' room just a tad as well as their bathroom, but I am gonna wipe down that table. And I sprayed this one. I'm going to wipe this table down now. Just finished those pots and pans. So the sink is empty. Oh, I forgot that pan over there. But I may use the liquid in it to make some rice. So that basket's empty. I still need to do that. I did pick up a little bit in their room. I wiped down that table and then... Um, put some blankets on there. I am just going to do a light uh, wipe down of their dresser. And I know some of you are asking why am I even doing what I'm doing with the boys rooms? Look, I just found this in here. And it's because we are having a security system put up with cameras just because of stalkers or stalker and threats. So our safety is number one priority and I don't know when it's going to get installed. And so I just want that area clean because I don't want somebody coming to my home and seeing like a bunch of dust. So that's why. But yeah, it's pretty much done. Of course, uh, we still have um, some motion detectors to put up on their window, but I just wanted to do a quick wipe down. They can do the deep cleaning. And let's put the stuff on this table. And this is where I'm at. I did start getting the stuff ready to make the brownies. However, I am going to stop and eat. I skipped out of breakfast. So this is kind of like a breakfast lunch for me. Just to recap what I have done. I cleaned up just a little bit on this counter. Of course, I need to do more. Cleaned around the deep freezer made the table and you guys that is paint and stuff this was a hand-me-down tablecloth living on one income i cannot see myself buying a tablecloth i've looked at prices they are very expensive if you guys know where to get a really cheap one but um yeah that's just not a priority for me and uh, so yeah i have a hand-me-down that's what i have so uh, again same thing with the laundry Still need to do those waters I did clean off a little bit here folded those I wiped just um, very lightly I didn't deep clean of course I still need to do the floors I'm gonna let that candle burn out and uh, yeah I'm gonna take a break you guys I'm sweating the reason why I'm not showing my face is because I look raggedy I when I dye the roots or the grays out of my hair I let my hair get really 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 dirty just so the hair dye will stick in it I only do of course the grays I don't do all of my hair but I get really really greasy hair so that is the best thing for me to do is let it get dirty I do plan on dyeing my hair later in the meantime of me 
cleaning since Frankie is still asleep. I'm dancing around listening to music. So that's why you do not see me um, because I have my nightgown, my hair in a bun, dirty bun, and I am sweating like crazy. If you guys can kind of hear, I'm a little out of breath. I am starting slowly my weight loss journey. Nothing committed yet because I'm still newly um, qu of quitting smoking. So this is my third month that I'm going into with not smoking. So I didn't want to do two things at once and overwhelm myself. So as I'm cleaning, I'm just dancing around, getting an exercise and getting that sweat and burning them calories. So I'm going to sit down, eat some lunch, and I'll come back to you. Put the basket up that was right there. And put the waters in the fridge. This is just an extra case. I also wiped down the fridge. Um, I just didn't film that. Of course, still all the stuff that I need to do in there. And um, right now I'm actually gonna sit down and rest and now really eat my lunch and hydrate because with dancing around as I'm cleaning, it's very important for me to stay hydrated. I've learned that the hard way. And so I'm going to drink a whole bottle of water with my lunch. Um, as I'm cleaning, I've already went through, I don't know what time it is, maybe nine o'clock, I've already drank three or four bottles of water. So it's very important since I have a heart disease and I'm a big girl, fluffy girl, to constantly stay hydrated because no, normal dancing around, you may not sweat the, the same way I sweat. Like I'm wet, like I'm drenched wet, like dripping down my, my face wet. So since I'm sweating so much, I definitely do need to stay hydrated. And yeah, so I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, yeah, well, I'll see you in a second, your time, a few minutes, my time just got done cleaning off that rug I mopped or swept and mopped in the living room area and I stopped about right here I still have to do the dining room as you can see there's crumbs everywhere I did pick up the rugs and stuff I am gonna wash rugs today but as you can still see I need to do in here look at that like it's all crumbs but, and I picked up right there, but I am, and I found a pair of sweatpants under a bed that smelled like, you know what, ASS. So, um, I'm going to put that stuff in a load, but the reason why I haven't done in here is because I am waiting for the washer to stop. That way I can switch and transition, and then I'll come in here, sweep, and mop. I already put away my lunch dishes. As you can see and again I still need to do brownies and stuff like that but that is not a priority right now so again just waiting on that washer that way I can switch everything what I'm mopping with and this stuff smells amazing is the method squirt and mop you guys can use my link down below to get this it smells like it's almond but it smells like the Jergens almond you know, lotion. It smells amazing. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And that is the mop I'm using. I just wash the mat when I'm done and I put in my own solution. I didn't like the Bona, if that's how you pronounce it, solution. I put in my own. There's my new Bath and Body Works. That broke and we haven't uh, figured out if we're going to try and fix it or throw it away so also my husband is off today but thankfully if you guys haven't known my husband's hours have been cut for like eight months for a long time he's now um something happened within the company so he's able to work and so he is working even on his days off which is a blessing the washer actually just stopped so let's switch those clothes out and we have switched the clothes. I didn't realize I had a few clothes in the dryer, so took those out, folded those, and then switched them. Y'all, I am worn out. Not only did I sweep and mop, I did go through, and if you can see, 
I wiped down the baseboards. I just did it with a reusable towel, dish towel, or reusable napkin from Grove. And as you can see, um, all the baseboards are clean. I'm not gonna walk because I just mopped, but it smells amazing in here. I just mopped. I did pull out a coffee, that way I can refill my um, little pods container. But yeah, I'm gonna rest. As you guys can see, I was dancing around and bending up and down, up and down, and I was doing a squat as I was doing it to clean the baseboards. So I am pretty worn out. I'm waiting on the clothes, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna let this stuff dry. Um, in here is pretty much, or yeah, it's dry in here. I am just going to take a moment and relax for a little bit. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog though, just because all I basically have to do is laundry and cook a little bit. If I feel up to it, I may make a cooking vlog, but I'm going to go ahead and end it because I had just been working, working, working like crazy. Frankie should be waking up soon. If not, I'm going to go ahead and wake him up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Bye, guys.